Here we are predicting the ions formed by common main group elements. And again, those common main group elements are these elements here. Group 1a, 2a, 3, 4a, 5a, 6a, 7a, and the noble gases in group 8a. So the first element we have here is scandium. And if we search our periodic table for the element symbol SC, we find that it is here in group 3B. It's a transition metal. So here's SC, and they tell us that the symbol of the ion that it forms is SC with a charge of 3 plus, SC3 plus. Okay, this is an ion. Well, what do we call ions that have a positive charge? We call them cations, positively charged ions. So here, these elements, phosphorus, cesium, fluorine, and strontium, are all main group elements. So let's see if we can predict the ions that they form. Here's phosphorus. Phosphorus, let's find its element box. And there it is right there. Phosphorus is atomic number 15. Is phosphorus going to form a cation or an anion when it becomes an ion? by either gaining or losing electrons. Well, phosphorus is a nonmetal. And these nonmetals form anions. The halogens form uh, ions typically with a minus one charge. Typically, the, the, the elements in group 6A form anions with a negative two charge. And here, uh, nitrogen and phosphorus, for example, uh, form anions with a charge of minus 3. Okay, so phosphorus, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So we write its element symbol with its charge at the top, and it's not 4, but 3 minus, and it is an anion. Let's find cesium. Cesium is, it's a, it's a group 1A metal, an alkali earth metal. And here, the alkali earth metals, as they form ions, form ions with a charge of plus one. The alkaline earth metals form ions with charge of plus two. Aluminum forms an ion with a charge of plus three. So what you see here is you can very easily predict the charge of ions of, of elements of the main groups because they follow a pattern. These ions will have a charge of plus one, plus two, aluminum plus three, halogens minus one, minus two, minus three. So cesium will write its element symbol, which is Cs, and one plus. It's a cation. So all of these metals are going to form cations, these nonmetals, anions. Fluorine, well, is it a metal or a nonmetal? Fluorine is a nonmetal. And there it is. So I can predict that it would form an anion and its charge would be one minus or minus one. Strontium. We go back to the other side to find strontium and there it is. It is an alkaline earth metal, main group 2A. So I write the element symbol and the charge of the ions formed from the alkaline earth metals. It's a metal, so it will be a cation. 